to Anamika's Edu Space. Today, I welcome all the class 6 standard students to my video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the world of living and we are going to study about all the questions and answers of the chapter 7 of the DAV school. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel Anamika's Edu Space. Let's move ahead. Question number D. Answer the following questions in short. First question. Name any three important characteristics of living beings. And the answer goes as the three important characteristics of living being are as follows. Living things grow. Living things need food and water. Living things are made up of cells. So these are the three important characteristics of the living beings. Question number two. State the differences between autotrophs and heterotrophs. The answer goes as autotrophs. Those living organisms that can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis are called autotrophs. Heterotrophs, those living organisms that cannot prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis are called heterotrophs. Example, green plants. Example for heterotrophs is non-green plants like the mushrooms, human beings and animals. Question number three. Give two examples of each of the annual, biennial and perennial plants. And the answer goes as annual plants. For example, vegetable and crops. Biennial plants, for example, radish and crops. Perennial plants, for example, mango and guava. Now coming to question number four. Give two examples each of animals which reproduce by laying eggs and by giving birth to young ones and the answer goes as by laying eggs hence and fishes number two by giving birth to young ones human and cows Coming to question number five give two examples each of vertebrates and invertebrates and the answer goes as vertebrates, for example, humans and birds. Number two, invertebrates such as arthropods and cockroaches. Into question number six, write the names of any four useful products obtained from plants. And the answer goes as the four useful products obtained from plants are fruits vegetables medicines spices fruits vegetable medicine spices now coming to the broad question or the long answer question if you like this video then make sure to subscribe to our channel Anamika Zedo Space. Question number E1. All living things respond to external stimuli. Justify the statement with examples. And the answer goes as all living things respond to different external stimuli. This can be illustrated by the following examples. Number one. Animals like earthworm move away from the light and saline media. Number two, the tip of a shoot system tends to move towards the light. Number three, the drooping of a leaf of the touch-me-not plant is a response to the touch stimulus. Now coming to question number two. 
A cloud is considered as non-living even though it can move and can grow bigger. Explain why. The answer goes as a cloud is considered as non-living even though it cannot move and can grow bigger because of the following things. Can't breathe like living things. Number two, it can't take food items. Number three, a cloud cannot respond to different stimuli. Number four, a cloud is not made up of cells. Number five, it does not have a definite lifespan. Write two points of differences between herbs and sharps. Herbs, sharps, herbs. Herbs are very small plants, usually ranges from a few centimeter to about one meter. Shrubs, shrubs are medium sized plants, usually having a height of one meter to about three meters. Number B, they have soft and green stems. Examples, vegetables, grasses, etc. Number B, they have hard and woody stem. Example, rose, cotton, etc. Now coming to the second part of question number three. The differences between shrubs and trees. Shrubs and trees. Shrubs. Shrubs are medium-sized plants usually having a height of one meter to about three meters. Whereas trees. Trees are tall and large plants. Number B in shrubs. They have a hardy woody stem. Examples, cotton, rose, etc. Number B in trees. They have strong and woody stems. Example, neem, mango, etc. Into question number four. State the differences between biennial and perennial plants. Here goes the answer. Biennial plants, perennial plants. Biennial plants. These plants live for two seasons. Perennial plants. These plants live for many years. Biennial plants. In the first year, they have full vegetative growth. And in the second year, they bear flowers and fruits. Number B in perennial plants. They produce flowers and fruits many times in their lifetime. Example for biennial plant is carrot, radish, etc. Example for perennial plant is mango, guava, etc. Number 5. Name two types of terrestrial plants. How do they differ on the basis of their habitat and water requirements? Answer. Two types of terrestrial plants are Number 1. Mesophytes. These plants grow on land and need moderate amount of water supply for their survival. For example, mango tree, apple tree, etc. Number 2. Xerophytes. Number 2. Xerophytes. These plants grow in deserts and need very small amount of water for their survival. For example, cacti, bubble, etc. Into question number 6. How are vertebrates different from invertebrates? Now comes the answer. Vertebrates, invertebrates. Vertebrates. They have a backbone which is made up of several small ring-like bones called as vertebrae. Invertebrates. They do not have a backbone. Vertebrates. These animals are well developed and have a body skeleton. For example, human beings, fish, frog, birds, etc. Invertebrates. These animals have a body. For example, earthworm, cockroach, snail, octopus, starfish, etc. Now moving to the next question. Hope you liked the video till now. Now coming to question number 7. 
right any four uses of animals in our daily life the answer goes as four uses of animals in our daily life are as following animals like camel and horse are used for transportation of human and the material we get many different products like leather wool and silk from the animals next many edible products like milk eggs meat are obtained from animals number 4 animal excreta is used as manure for producing gobar gas thank you for your patience watching now if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel anamika's edu space and don't forget to hit like to this video comment down what else content you want in our channel to be get produced and also don't forget to comment down below about this video if you like this video then show your love and subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon